sun gazing, which I will tell you about sometime. But this is my view every night, and it's really lovely out here. This week I want to talk to you about fear, which we'll spend a lot of time talking about fear because we don't even realize how much we're bound up in it and how much it holds us back from living our dreams and our goals and our desires and just an amazing life after 40. And uh, one of the fears I want to talk to you about is the, the fear of letting go. There's a lot of fears bound up in this, like the fear of loss and the fear of losing control, the fear of looking stupid, the fear of how much is it going to cost me, but ultimately it's all about letting go. And the fact is, it's like the Buddhists teach, you and I are standing in a river and we have two choices. We can fight the current or we can recognize that the current is all around us and it's moving in a certain direction and it wants to take us somewhere and the best thing we can do is put our feet up and just let it take us. So that's what I want to talk to you about because I feel like a lot of people think I have this amazing life and I actually really do have this amazing life but it has come at a cost and that cost is letting go and trusting the process. Trusting that when that river is pushing against me that I am safe to just put my feet up and let it take me wherever it wants to go and not fight against that current because it's going somewhere good. And I just want to give you a little example of this. Back in 2010, which was the year after my mom died, I kid you not that I was like sitting in my living room one day and all of a sudden I just felt this voice for the lack for lack of a better word tell me you are going to become a nurse and I have to tell you becoming a nurse was about the furthest thing outside of my wheelhouse and when this voice or whatever you will it wasn't like audible but it was so strong and so penetrating and so contrary to anything that I would have thought up for myself that I just knew it was true and I think we all have these crossroads in our lives where we hear that voice and you know we're standing in the river and all of a sudden the current picks up and it's asking us and even inviting us to go and we're too afraid I mean at that point in my life I was a full-time writer and staying at home and I didn't have I had some college education but I didn't have like a major in anything I had I had done mostly like working in insurance and then I did hair. I was a licensed cosmetologist for many years. I still am actually, but then I was a stay-at-home mom. And honestly, like just due to things in my past, I didn't think I was that smart. And I was like, there is no way in heck I'm going to be able to get through those classes that nursing would require. Like biology was a real struggle for me in college the first time. But I knew the voice and I knew that if it was telling me I was going to do that, that based on past experiences, it would work and it was going to be a lot of hard work. Oh my gosh, so much hard work, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of difficult experiences, a lot of uh, blood, sweat and tears. But I followed that voice and I put my feet up and I let the river take me and so many amazing things happened along the way. Like I ended up just getting this amazing scholarship in nursing school and I had all the right teachers that taught me in my learning style in a way that I could really grasp the concepts. I ended up graduating from nursing school with a 4.0, which I didn't even do that in high school, guys. I mean, I did not believe in myself. And so I just have had the most remarkable experience all along the way. I, I got this most amazing job and you know from there I progressed up the food chain to ER nursing. No one ever died. I I had people watching over me and I had the you know universe watching over me. I wish I could tell you all the things that happened, but suffice it to say, the biggest thing that happened is first of all I learned how to believe more in myself and to see myself so differently. I found out that there's things inside of me that are planted there that I wasn't even aware of. Like to live with yourself for over 40 years and not know 
what you're capable of is like a really beautiful thing. And if the universe is asking you to do something hard, like trust that the reason why is um, it wants you to understand more about yourself. It wants you to expand and grow and trust yourself and experience the amazing things that you didn't know where you were capable of or that could be done on your behalf. So, uh, in short, you know, well, okay, it's not short, <laughs> it's long, but I just want you also to know that another, other amazing things have happened through that experience more than trusting myself. It was an opportunity to see that the universe would not let me down. And I've proved this time and time again, but ultimately guys, I let go of control and I, I let go of my fears. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how much fear I had to overcome to do this. Like my whole first year in the hospital, I went to work scared, wondering, you know, what was going to happen that day that I didn't know how to do and which doctor I was going to talk to that made me feel like an idiot. And, you know, I built a little confidence there and then I started all over again at the bottom in the ER. And again, I went to work scared every day for like a year wondering what situations I was going to encounter and what I wouldn't know how to do and you know was I going to look stupid and was I going to hurt anybody and the universe was and a god if you will you know I call it universe you may call it god source whatever the universe was so faithful and so nurturing and so gentle with this process and so whatever you're being asked to do today I'm getting bit by mosquitoes whenever you're in that river and you start feeling the currents change or telling you to move or do something different just trust it and you are going to have an amazing life after 40 like you can have it before 40 too but I'm just saying it's worth it you won't be abandoned in the process you won't be dropped on your head and you just have so much in you to explore and expand and discover. So if you want the amazing, you got to let go, put those feet up and I will see you down the river.